it's Nina Marie Trapani for Simon Says Stamp and welcome to the reveal of our Pretty Pink Posh Stamptember collaboration set. This one is called Joy and Cheer and it is the most charming little set. I love that all of these little circles feature their own unique scene. And there are a couple of ways that you can purchase this set. It is a limited edition Stamptember exclusive so it's only available while supplies last. You can purchase the stamps on their own or you can purchase the stamps with a coordinating circle die that cuts out any of these circles so you can build, mix and match and create some really fun decorations on your cards. These would make super cute ornaments. Lots of ways that you can utilize this set. For my card today, I thought it would be fun to turn these into postage stamps. They remind me of some super cute postage stamps that you would have on maybe your Christmas cards. And so we're gonna utilize that theme to build the card that I'm creating today. Let's take a close up look at the stamp set though before we get started. Each of these little circles, like I said, are their own little scene. A couple of them do have greetings on them. I'm going to use the one in the top left corner that says Mary, along with the reindeer and the Santa. And then this is the coordinating circle die. It cuts out any of these circle images. So it makes it super simple for you to die cut and use them on your projects. I'm going to stamp my images onto some watercolor paper today and use VersaFine Clair ink in the Nocturne color to be able to stamp these. And that way I'm gonna have a really nice dark stamping, but this ink is perfect for watercoloring because it is safe for water-based mediums. For my watercoloring, I'm using some watercolors that I have on hand from Daniel Smith. And I'm going to use those to color in my images, but you can use any type of watercolors you have. Or if you're not into watercoloring, you can color these images with whatever medium you prefer. Now, if you do like to watercolor, I'm gonna tell you just quickly how I color these images. I like to keep my coloring simple and stress-free. So I add my color down in certain spots, leaving a wide open area that I can then blend the color out into. That's giving me then a chance to have a highlight area and I don't have to go back and fuss with it a ton to get the shading that I'm looking for. So if I add that little drop of color along the one side or maybe off to the bottom and then fade it out, that gives me that shading. And that's just how I like to do my watercoloring, but I find it's a really simple and easy way to do it. I'm using classic Christmas colors here. I color the reindeer brown, I used red for Santa, red on the bow, the present, green for the trees. So nothing really crazy here. Just some classic colors that I thought would go well together to build an entire scene because these images do have to sit together so I don't want them to have too many colors where it's going to be a bit crazy. If your color palette's a little bit more limited it helps make the images work together better and they feel just cohesive. For the backgrounds I did really like washes of color so off camera I watered down some colors really thin with some water just so that way they weren't as strong and that way it gave me a softer touch of color on the backgrounds of each of these images. So I did red, blue, and like this pale orange color. I also then added some interest to these by watercoloring some snowflakes and little dots here and there. You don't have to use the watercolors to do this. If you wanna come back in with colored pencils or maybe some sort of water-based marker, you could draw those little details in, but I like doing it with a watercolor brush. And then I also brought in a second watercolor palette. This is uh, the Prima Metallic Accents. And we have these over at Simon's Stamp. It's a really nice metallic watercolor pack and it comes with 12 different colors. I'm using a few of them here to add some metallic accents to my projects. So I used some blue for the snowflakes behind Santa. I added some metallic white to his hat and little cuffs of his jacket. Added some dots on the background of the reindeer. And then once all of my watercoloring was dry, I did come back in with some glossy accents and only covered certain spots with some glue. The reason is because I want to add some glitter in certain areas. So by adding the glossy accents down first, that gave me a base to be able to sprinkle some clear Distress Rock candy glitter on top of it. And that's giving me these beautiful sparkles on top of my images. Again, it's only in certain spots, but it's enough to add a little bit of sparkle and shine to the image. Now I'm going to take the coordinating circle die and I'll cut each one of these out. I'm going to use my Platinum Scout machine. I love how handy this is for smaller images and all of the circles fit beautifully inside of this machine. So I'm just gonna cut all three of them and then I'm also going to pull out our Simon Says Stamp Postage Shapes die set. And I'm using this postage shape, which is a circle. 
It's the second to largest of the circles that are included. And it just so happens that this die fit perfectly behind my little circle pieces for the Pretty Pink Posh Stamptember set. So I thought this was so cool. I'm going to go ahead and glue my little circle pieces onto the posted shape dies. And I've cut them from some coordinating colors of cardstock. So I've got green, red, and light blue. And these look so good. They just trim up these little shapes so beautifully. And I love how it creates the postage effect. So I have these pieces now that I'm going to be able to group together onto my card. So on my card, I'm going to use an embossing folder. This is the Cheery Snowflakes embossing folder from Simon's the Stamp. And I'm going to put my card base in here. I'm only going to emboss though the front of my card base. I don't need to emboss the whole thing. So I'll open up the card and lay it in here into my embossing folder and then close everything up run this through my die cutting machine so that way I can impress that snowflake pattern onto the front of the card. And so here you can see we have the snowflakes on the front and then the back is still nice and clean. So this way you can still write on the inside nicely, but it gives you that really fun texture on the outside. Now these postage stamps look great on their own, but I thought it would be nice to highlight them with a little bit of a glow behind each of the postage stamps. So I picked out three different colors of Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated inks that I thought would go well with the colors I use here. So I have Sea Foam, Celery, and Cherry. These inks I'm going to blend onto my card base right behind each of the different shapes that I want the color to coordinate with. So for the Sea Foam, it's going with the reindeer that has the blue postage trim. The green will go with the trees that have the green, and then of course the red will go with Santa. It's just adding a glow behind these, which is making them look like they are popping off the page a little bit more, and it's adding a little bit more color to the card base, creating a really unique focal point. I'm using Simon Says Stamp large blending brushes to blend these out. I'm also tapping off the ink onto my glass work surface, so that way I don't have too much ink come onto my project all at once. And then I'm just being very careful to not send that ink too far outside of the circle. So I keep bringing them in to check on the placement. Now, once I'm happy with it, then I can start assembling my pieces onto my card using some foam tape. I'm using Simon's Stamp foam squares for this. I used both the thick and the thin. Um, the reason I used the thin was to add a little bit of extra dimension to the circle that featured the trees because that one's going in the middle and I was letting some of these overlap with each other as I layer them onto my card. So by having just a little bit more dimension on the backside of the Mary circle, it just adds a little bit of interest to the card. So I pressed all those down onto my card firmly and then I'm bringing in this Christmas Blessings stamp set from Simon and I'm going to use the Merry and Bright. There's already the word Merry on that circle so I thought it would go well to have then Merry on the circle and then the sentiment underneath say Merry and Bright. I'm going to stamp this greeting onto some black cardstock using embossing ink. I did prep the surface with my powder tool prior to stamping and then I'll bring in my embossing powder in white to sprinkle on top. I will set that with my heat tool and then cut the sentiment out. We do have coordinating dies for this stamp set. I'm going to pop this up onto my card using black foam squares because then that way you won't see the foam adhesive from the side of the card. It kind of hides behind that cardstock really nicely. And then my last finishing touch was to add a bit of sparkle with some sequins. I'm just putting a few of these around my card and I just thought that these colors really complemented the colors of my card. So there we have it, this fun and festive card using the Pretty Pink Posh Stamp Timber 2024 exclusive available only at Simon Says Stamp and it's called Joy and Cheer. It's an adorable set, has lots of great options. Like I said, you could make little focal points like I've done here. You could turn these into tags. They could be Christmas ornaments. Lots of ways that you can utilize this set. So I hope you enjoy. I hope it is a set that brings you lots of joy and cheer and that you enjoy creating with it. Be sure to stop by our Simon Says Stamp blog to see even more inspiration besides my project. There are lots of other designers who have made something with this set, so you're gonna have to go popping over to the Simon blog to see all those, because it's definitely a treat. All right, friends, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll be back very soon with more Stamp Timber inspiration for you. I'm Heidi, Simon's Mama and founder at SimonSaysStamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.